Hello, how are you? I have not seen you for a while. I've been away a little while. Well, I'm back here. It is, of course, Gadget Nation. Welcome, brand new episode, brand new season. So, what do we have in store today? Really looking ahead to the future. For example, BlackBerry 10. That's the future. PlayStation 4, that's also the future. And something which absolutely fascinates me, 3D printing. It's all happening on today's show, which is starting right now. You know what fascinates me? The concept of 3D printing. You have a digital file on disk, on a computer, and you think, hey, I want to make that into something like this. Completely 3D. That's exactly what a 3D printer does. It still boggles my mind, and it can really revolutionize the way we are able to print stuff and utilize stuff and really make use of a 3D printer. Now, as time has gone by, 3D printers have gotten cheaper and they become effectively affordable for an average person who just wants one at home. So we sat down with some guys from a local company, it's 3D printer City and Brahad, to find out exactly how this whole thing works. Okay, so here I am in a very quaint office. What am I doing here? This is not a storeroom for Toys R Us or something. No, this is absolutely fascinating. These were all printed here. Evolution of technology and the manufacturing industry. I'm at 3D printer, Samira Brahad. Sitting next to me is Owen. Pleasure to meet you, sir. Nice to meet you. All right, so what we have here are actually models which you printed out using a 3D printer. It's all in the company name. I have to know, this is fascinating. What are the steps to actually make something like this? Supposing I want to make this whistle. Oh, okay. Um, the step is actually quite simple. If you already have the uh, file of the whistle, what you need to do is actually, uh, the printer comes with a software uh, whereby you can actually open your file, then uh, check the rotation and also the scale of the model, whether it's correct or not. Then simply click print. Yeah, okay. That's it. And the printer will print the actual uh, whistle. All right, well, material-wise and colours, how did you get various colours onto this? Because I, I read that your printer is rather versatile whereby I could stop it or rather pause it whilst it's printing and then change the material to a different colour so I can do something like this. Uh, actually, um, the, the printer that we have here is actually a monochrome uh, 3D printer. Mm -hmm. It prints one colour at a time. Okay. So. Uh, Component like this, for example, um, the file has been actually split into two. Oh wow! Okay. So we actually print this part first. Yeah. Then upon completion of this part, we we'll print uh, uh, the other part. Okay. Uh, with different color. Then we actually join them together. Tell you what, we're gonna try pausing it, and then we'll try putting in something else. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. <laughs> okay. Anyhow, uh, what about the consumer benefits for using something like this? Who does it really appeal to? I can imagine, like you showed me this engineering people and architecture and models and working prototypes. Does it work that way? Uh, yes, uh, this machine is actually uh, uh, quite a professional type of uh, 3D printer. Uh, engineers, architect, uh, architects as well as a uh, product designer, they actually use this uh, printer to produce a concept model yeah. and functional prototype. Yes. Interesting. Okay. What about the services offered by your company specifically? Um, our core business activities is in the supply of up class 3D printer and besides uh, we also uh, offer some uh, printing service to uh, those individuals or corporate who would like their 3D files to be printed. Okay. Yes, we offer them. Uh, yeah. What about your model specifically as in your 3D printer? What are the benefits? Because it's very quiet, it's actually, you probably can't tell but it's running in the background as we speak printing. Well, I didn't put that, you printed something. But it's very quiet, I mean, but there's no real interface on it that I can see. So what are the pros and cons of this? Um, 
Up Plus 3D printer is actually one of the most user-friendly and uh, versatile uh, 3D printer with a very impressive print quality as you can see here. Um, the benefits of the 3D printer is actually very clear. You can actually produce something rapidly, even at home, in the comfort of your office. Uh, it does not require mold, tooling or setup. Mm. Uh, you can actually simply print anything you like uh, on the desk and within hours you get uh, what uh, you're printing for. Okay. And uh, 3D printing is actually something very competitive. Uh, with this printer you can actually uh, uh, print one piece, ten pieces uh, at the same cost. Mm. That means there is no economies of scale okay. in using this uh, uh, printing technology. E yes. Excellent. Well, I have to say, it is fascinating. What's your website address for more information, etc.? Our website is www.3dprinter.com.my Excellent. Well, you know what? I just want to showcase this. I'm a huge fan of Batman. You didn't know that, but when I walked in and I saw this, I mean, the level of detail this makes him a bit gross. This even got Batman's nostrils. Yes, Batman is human after all. And even the cowl itself, it's so sharp, it's so precise. This is absolutely amazing. It really is evolution. Thank you so much. It's been an absolute pleasure. And I'm just going to slowly put this here and maybe take it home. You can take it home. I can take it home? <laughs> yes. You can print another one? <laughs> Excellent. Thank you very just much. Just for you. Just for you. Thank you. Awesome. 3D Princess.